One of the things that makes me really proud is when our team looks at a site and looks at the unique characteristics from its geography, uh, existing infrastructure that's already there, the climate in that area, and then designs something uh, specific to really make the most efficient cooling and, uh, and power infrastructures possible for these data centers. So we have this new data center site in Hamana, Finland, uh, that was originally a paper mill. It was designed and built in the early 1950s. Uh, you walk the site and first of all, it's, uh, it's very impressive. It's very large and, uh, and it's really a beautiful site. It's uh, in a, a gorgeous area of the country. We acquired the site in 2009 and uh, our team was really anxious to utilize the, uh, the opportunities of it being right on the Gulf to come up with an innovative and very efficient uh, cooling system for this new data center. We take raw seawater directly from the Gulf of Finland. We run it through a seawater tunnel that was actually existing. It was already built for the paper mill um, back in the 50s. And we pump seawater through that tunnel, and then we run it through heat exchangers, uh, and then we actually use direct exchange through those heat exchangers to dissipate the server load heat from the data center. And then we return that seawater to a tempering building where we take in fresh seawater, mix it with the, the outgoing warmer water so that when we return it back to the Gulf, we return it at a temperature that is much more similar to the inlet temperature so that we minimize any environmental impact in that area. There's no um, compressor-based or refrigerant-based cooling here. It's all natural seawater cooling. So I think the takeaway is don't look at what has been done as the only way it can be done. Think outside the box and look at the unique characteristics of each site. I'm really uh, happy and proud of the way the team took on this challenge and, uh, and created uh, one of Google's most advanced and most efficient data centers in our whole fleet.